Hello and welcome to crickcharts.com. I will give you a brief overview of how to use crickcharts.com. And uh, I am Atindrio from the Simplifiers team. Alright, so before any other delay, let me just get down to what we're supposed to do here. Alright, so CrickCharts is basically a cricket analytics application. Uh, it's a totally graphical based a dashboard kind of a web app which, which allows you to go through various cricket statistics, match statistics for one day international over the period of last around 8 years from 2003 to 2011. So if I enter the site, the first page that is going to come up is the match statistics page here. The first graph shows the innings graph. This is the the yellow lines indicate the first inning scores and the corresponding blue dots indicate the second inning scores. So you can choose two teams and uh, see a comparison of what uh, matches they've played. So this is an empty graph which means that in 2011 India and Sri Lanka have not played a match where India has batted first and Sri Lanka has batted second so let me choose another season suppose 2008 here so these are the set of matches uh, the yellow indicates India score and the blue dots indicate Sri Lanka score so I can leave one of the uh, drop downs blank and see only India's performance in 2008 so you can see that India has been able to successfully defend a lot of scores in this season. So I, ca I can accordingly change my season. In the right hand pane I can see that I chose India. So India's total matches played it will show. And uh, overall record how many India has won batting first and bowling first. And uh, if I choose two teams it will show me the overall record of each teams along with a head to head. So you can see here India wins batting first, bowling first and the same for Sri Lanka and this is the head to head battle against the two teams. Alright, so the next graph here you can see is the overs graph. This basically maps to the innings graph over here. So for each match here, like the first match here, this will show, the first bar shows the number of overs played by each team. So you can see that the second match was probably an interesting one even the third one which was kind of like close to last over matches which got interesting so if you don't understand the bar chart properly you can probably use the line graph which will show you give you a better comparison and um, this is line with steps so it gives you a lot of flexibility here so the next page I'm gonna show you is win loss by statistics this shows the overall team's record, so this is basically the number of wins upon total matches times 100. This has been plotted on the graph. So if I click on each of them, it will show me the area that each team occupies here. So it gives you a nice indicator of how much uh, they each team has won here. So if I choose two teams, suppose India and Sri Lanka, this will give me uh, a an overall comparison of the two teams how much they have won and lost as well as a head to head against each other how they have fared so if I click on it I can see that India has won a majority of their matches against Sri Lanka over a period of like eight years so now if I go to tabular query engine this is basically displaying me the same data in a tabular format so for 2008 if I choose India and Sri Lanka as two teams, it will give me all India and Sri Lanka's matches here. So I can go through how many each team has won. So if I choose India and Australia instead, I'll get their respective scores. So you can analyze. So it shows the scores as well as the overs and finally the winner. Fall of wicket analysis is similar to match statistics except that it shows the fall of wickets for each of the teams. So if I choose India batting first and Sri Lanka batting second in season 2008 and draw the graph, this will give me an indicator of how many wickets each team lost. So India all got all out in this match and 
Sri Lanka chased it down in two wickets. So the lower the graph, the better it is for the team. Similarly, I can leave one blank to see one particular team's batting performance um, as far as wickets are concerned. So you can see India is able to get a lot of teams bowled out. So India is good at batting first. The graph remains pretty low. The y-axis is the number of wickets. You can see this is 10. And um, similarly, okay, there's an option called swap teams where I can just swap. And uh, it will, this will basically now show me the matches when India chased instead of batted first. So you can see India has not really been all out on a lot of occasions in 2008. But yeah, there are still around 5 occasions where India was all out. But most of the times India has done pretty well. So you can see 284 for 3 versus Bangladesh. So you can analyze against what teams India is, how, how well India is faring as far as the wickets are concerned. Another thing is that here if I you can see India's number of all outs has been 6 out of 16 matches played batting 2nd in this particular season. So if I swap it will give me India's record batting 1st. So I can see here 2 out of 11 matches India has been all out batting 1st. So India bats 1st quite well. Um, so if I choose 2 teams it will give me both the teams comparisons here. So India's number of all-outs batting first and Australia's number of all-outs batting second. And as well as the um, overall head-to-head -head and the overall record of all the teams. So a lot of data is there for you to analyze. And um, uh, that's pretty much it. This is basically what Crick Charts is about. This is the version 1. So we'll be releasing more interesting data including quizzes and trivia which will be on the website soon. So I hope you have a good cricketing analytics experience uh, with Crick Charts. Thank you.